this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Just observe the sum on the screen. Malawal Limited has three department ABC. From the particulars given, compute. Value of stock on 31st of December 2017. The departmental trading results are also to be worked out. So, gross profit of each department is to be worked out and we are, we are required to find out the closing stock because we are given the percentage of profit for each department. But this percentage of profit are not strictly followed. If the percentage of profit is being followed, then the sales at the normal price would have been 10,000. But instead of, the actual sales was made 7,500. During the year, certain items were sold at a discount. And this discount were reflected in the values of sales shown below. So if at 20% sales has occurred, then the sales value would have been 10,000. But as the discount was given, the actual sales price was 7,500. And this 7,500 is the segment of this 1,72,500. So this 1,72,500 includes this 7,500 wherein discount was granted. So sales at a discounted value is the actual sales that is, and this is also actual sales. So this 7,500 is a part of 1,72,500. Similarly discount, normal sales price was 3,000. The discounted sales price was 2,400. This is the actual sales. So this 2,400 is a part of this 1,59,400. Same thing. The normal sales price would have been 1,000. The actual sales price is 600. So 74,600 includes this 600. Accept this discounted sales. Normal rate of gross profit was maintained. In light of this information, we are required to find out the closing stock as well as the actual profit earned in each department. That's the question that has been asked. Now let us start. So this is the details given to me in the sum. This is a part of the sum. Sum is being abbreviated and presented here before you. And the peculiarity of our video is that normally the sum is in the hands of teacher and the solution is presented in the board. But the technique that I follow for the purpose of presentation wherein sum is on the screen and the solution is on the screen and the explanation is also found on the screen. That is the peculiarity of our, of our video. So no need for any student to have any pamphlet or any study material in a printed form in their hands. They can look at the sum here or if they want to read the sum, they can pause the video and read the sum and then they can proceed with the explanation. That is the important point of this video. Now let us start. Opening stock, I write on the debit side of A, B and C departments. Purchases are also recorded on the debit side. Actual sales is recorded on the credit side. Closing stock is to be found out. Normal rate of gross profit is maintained except these discounts granted. So let me find out the closing stock. Now I want to find out the closing stock. Now the actual sales is given to me, which includes this 7,500, 2,400 and 600. It is already, so actual sales at a discounted price is included in. So let me remove this sales. So this 7,500 discounted sales are removed. So now all these sales are at the normal rate of gross profit. What is the normal rate of gross profit? 20, 25, 33 and one third percent. So this sales is at the normal rate of gross profit. If I want to find out the total sales at normal rate of gross profit, let me add this 10,000. Now all the sales is at the normal rate of gross profit. So 175,000 is the sales at the normal rate of gross profit 20%, 1,60,000 is the sales at the normal rate of gross profit. And if I deduct the gross profit from this, I will get the cost of goods sold. So let me, 20% is the normal rate of gross profit. So 20% is the rate of gross profit. So cost element is 80%. 25% is the rate of gross profit. So cost element is 75%. 33 and one third percent is the rate of gross profit. So cost element is 66 and two third percent. So 
कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड इज अ परसेंटेज एटी परसेंट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड टू थर्ड परसेंट नाउ वन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू एटी परसेंट आई विल गेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इंटू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट आई विल गेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू टू थर्ड दैट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड दिस इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड Now opening stock plus purchase is minus cost of goods sold. I will get the closing stock. Let me prepare a working note for finding out the closing stock. Opening stock plus purchase is minus cost of goods sold. So I will get the closing stock. So closing stock that I have found out that I write on the credit side of my trading account, and now I would like to find out the profit. So two lakh two thousand five hundred. Two lakh two thousand five hundred, thirty-two thousand five hundred is the gross profit. Now thirty-two thousand five hundred is the actual gross profit. Or had these goods have been sold instead of seven thousand five hundred, ten thousand for rupees ten thousand, then two thousand five hundred gross profit would have been more. So my profit would have been thirty-five thousand. So thirty-five thousand should have been my profit if the no sales at normal rate of gross profit is occurred. But as the discount is granted, the actual gross profit now works out to be thirty-two thousand five hundred. Same way for Department B, thirty-nine thousand four hundred, and I have found out the gross profit for Department C, twenty-four thousand six hundred. This is how this sum gets sold. The important point of this sum: discount sales at discount value is add back. Sales at the normal value, the sales at the discount value is removed from the actual sales. Sales at the normal normal rate is add back, deducting gross profit therefrom. We will get the cost of goods sold. Opening stock plus purchase is minus cost of goods sold is equal to closing stock. This is how the closing stock is being found out, and then the actual gross profit is being worked out. So, the important understanding about the relationship for Gross profit, closing stock, actual sales, normal sales—they are the important points of this sum. I have tried to explain you all these things. I feel that you have followed all these things. I think you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.